In this illustration, we intend to simulate the high-velocity impact of titanium projectile on the aluminum plate in the Abacus software. In this question, the plate is made of a 2618 aluminum alloy and the projectile is made of TI6AL4V titanium alloy. In this picture, you can observe the effect of projectile uh, heating against an aluminum plate. As it's quite clear, a dent has been created on the place of impact. As it can be observed in this picture, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very similar to the experimental results. Also in this picture, the diagram of the projectile's velocity has been drawn. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled High Velocity Impact Responses of 2618 Aluminum Plates for Engine Containment Systems Under Combined Actions of Projectile Form and Oblique Angle. In this picture, you can observe the geometric shape of plate and in this one, the geometric shape of projectile. In this picture, the effect of projectile hitting against an aluminum plate can also be observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of plate. From here I will select 3D, deformable, solid and extrusion. I will enter approximate size equal to 2 and continue. I will draw a square. As explained in the article, the length and width of plate is equal to 550 multiplied by 500 millimeters. I will enter the size of this side equal to 0 0.55 meters and this side equal to 0 0.5 meters. Done. Consider the thickness of plate equal to 22 millim millimeters. In the next step, I will click on Create Part. I intend to create a geometric shape of projectile. I will enter approximate size equal to 1 and continue. Here I will select a titanium material and OK. I will click on Assign Section, Select Plate, Done, Assign the Aluminum Section to it and OK. I'll click on Assign Section, select Projectile, Done, and assign a Titanium section to it. Actually, the projectile is made of Titanium, and the plate is made of Aluminum. I will enter uh, Assembly Module, click on Create Instance, enter both parts of plate and projectile into the Assembly section, and OK. 
here I select dynamic explicit and continue I'll enter time period equal to six milliseconds and OK done As explained in the article, we can see the 22 elements for a thickness of 22 millimeters. In the next step, I'll select these lines. In the next step, I'll click on Assign Element Type, select Projectile, done. First, uh, I will put Element Library uh, on Explicit. As explained in the article, it has been suggested that a uh, viscous option to be used for uh, hourglass mode. And so here we will uh, use viscous option and OK.
The first case we intend to survey here is actually the amount of damage and how it has been occurred. As you observe in this laboratory example, a dent has been created due to the impact of the projectile on the plate and this dent can be clearly observed on the model. Also, in the model obtained from the Abacus software, a dent has been created as a result of impact. In fact, a dent cavity or depression has been created exactly on the place where the uh, projectile has struck. Uh, we want to discuss here uh, is the next case we want to discuss here is the kind of damage two kinds of damage have been defined in this article one perforation two rebound perforation means that the projectile perforates into the plate and passes through rebound means that the projectile bounces back after hitting against the plate As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are of rebound kind, meaning that the projectile starts bouncing back uh, after hitting the plate. Here, the results obtained from the Abacus software are identical to those mentioned in the article because the damage gained from the article is of rebound kind and that obtained from the Abacus software are rebound as well. So here, two cases were surveyed. One was the type of damage that is rebound in this question. The second case was related to the place on plate where it has been damaged. That was a dent that looked like those results already mentioned in the article. The next point we want to discuss here is the residual velocity of projectile. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output and Continue. Here I will select Unique Nodal. Here select V3. Then this node and click on Save.
Here you observe uh, the diagram of the projectile's velocity. As you observe, the initial velocity is 210 meters per second and maximum velocity is a negative 33 meters per second. As you observe in the article, the residual velocity obtained from the article is equal to negative 30 meters per second, and a residual velocity obtained from the Abacus software is about negative 21, negative 33 meters per second. Actually, the diagram has oscillation in the Abacus software, so the residual velocity gained is about 21 meters per second. Here, the results obtained from the Abacus software are close to those mentioned in the article, and this indicates that the residual velocity obtained from the article is 30 meters per second, while that obtained from the Abacus software is about 20 meters per second.